my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Peppa and George are visiting <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Peppa and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Peppa, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Chuck in, everyone. Mmm. <laughs> Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Brother 
George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the ties than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes. But only until the tide changes, then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong. No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> Night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> the boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. <laughs> Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho. I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty boy. Flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> Daddy, I tricked you. It's me. <laughs> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. <laughs>
I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Molly Mole. Peppa and her friends are going to playgroup today. Aho. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil. Hello. I'm Molly Moore. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Peppa and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Molly, have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. But this is Rebecca's house. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside the hill. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you like your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Peppa. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Hello? Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh. Interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well... The good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You could put a door here... Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> well, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. It's great having a hole between our houses because now you can come and play with me any time you want. <laughs> yes, and you can come and play with me any time you want. I like you living here, Molly. I like living here too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best friend? Squeak! Yes, please. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> Ah, what good little children you are. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <laughs> We will rescue the grown-ups! Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that tickles! <laughs> oh, well, hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yeah. But we might have to play a bit first. 
Peppa and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples! Apples! Get your apples here! Cheese! A smelly cheese! Fish! Nice fresh fish! Each market stall sells one thing. Apples! Cheese! Fish! Mr Fox's stall sells everything. Violins! Casters! Rocket engines! <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> cheese! Cheese! <laughs> yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish! Nice fresh fish! Can we buy some fish, please? OK. I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? Oh, I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please. We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper. But our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah, we're getting all wet. No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. 
You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Pepper loves markets. Everyone loves markets. <laughs> Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Father Christmas. It is almost Christmas. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? <sniffs> Peppa will be the Christmas fairy. I want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> Now, you can all practice your parts. <laughs> it is the next day. Pepper and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look! It's Father Christmas! Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello, it's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa! Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes! We are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse, and Danny is you. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Will you come and see our play? Uh, I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please! I will do my best. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre and he didn't tell me. Oh. Pepper and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look, it's Father Christmas again. Hello, and who might you be? Peppa. <laughs> You haven't forgotten. Forgotten? No, no, no. Good. So, you will come to the play. Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas Fairy. Ho, ho, ho. I am Father Christmas. <laughs> I am the Christmas nurse and I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. Wow! Can we see your sleigh? Uh, well... I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true, I am very busy. But of course you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful! What's it like to ride in? Hop in! 
I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park? Hang on, everybody. Ready, steady, go! Whoa. This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa. Let's do a loop the loop. Yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then, Paris, here we come. Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about. Yes, Peppa. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! The ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see? It's just like driving at home. Ah! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour! Bonjour, Delphine! Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? 
Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah, I must call for the rescue services. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not Miss Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's Pond. Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Today we are making a pond. Ooh. We start by digging a big hole. Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a gnome <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. Ooh. George has found an enormous bone. Oh, dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa! How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure! How exciting! I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. Granny, Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr Rabbit? Just about here, Mr Bull. <laughs> Mr 
Mr. Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr. Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well, thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is, you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry, you can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. School projects. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <coughs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <coughs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madam Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, uh, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No! Daddy, we need that box. Look what I've got. Great, that's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello, can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. 
see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Police. Pepper and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's Dido, Dido, no, Dido. Dido. Police cars go. Woo, woo, woo. Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes, if I Nina. might explain what I was about to say was. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> Um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ears and eyes open! Ears and eyes open! Yes! Woohoo! This is fun! Ring your bell! Oh yes, ring bell! 
Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina! Woo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. <laughs> ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty ninety ten million hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook! Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow! wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 
All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. <laughs> funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bring the zoo. Peppa and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. 
If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, ho ho! Lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boo. We're all going to the zoo. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boo. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> Little brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig, the Outback. Peppa has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr. Kangaroo. Oh, Mr. Pig, what a surprise! You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. The crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow, you have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now Oh, it looks like a desert It kind of is But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us Ooh Here's our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. 
When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Peppa likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. <laughs> OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <coughs> Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Surfing. Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie <laughs> is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever! It's true! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever! Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Kylie. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's 
Where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Great Barrier Reef. Peppa is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Peppa. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. <laughs> wow. wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please. OK, hop in. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. 
Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh. Look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there. A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig. My little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Boomerang. It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? Okay, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <coughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. 
Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The castle. Today, Peppa and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. <laughs> a pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked to owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. 
on with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now, it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Parachute jump. It is raining, and the school roof is leaking again. Moo! Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, 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 my daddy! My daddy! My daddy! We need just one! Peppa and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes, 
Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for, for Mummy Pig! <laughs> It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Measuring Pepper. There, Pepper. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Pepper. Now George's turn. <laughs> there, George. That's how tall you are. I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall. So you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. 
I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <coughs> Let's play ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Pepper. The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh, no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball. Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall. I can try. Hooray! <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster, the vet. Oh, you naughty tortoise. Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Are hamsters always taller than giraffes? Um, I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. Hello. Hello. Mummy and Daddy Giraffe have come to collect Gerald from Playgroup. Wow, you're as tall as the sky. That's because we're giraffes. And my mummy and daddy are very, very old. <laughs> 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 Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Miss Rabbit's taxi. Peppa and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> I see you've been...
in shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny wrong. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss! Hello, Hello boss! Hello, lads! Here's the sand! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho! There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. <laughs> Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George, and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy, what is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun. And educational. Is it real? With real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem? 
problem, Mr. Bull. There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Ooh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha <laughs> 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 Land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah. Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. Ah. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah. Oh look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24-hour non-stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Stamps. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa is showing Peppa and George his stamp collection. I've collected hundreds of stamps from all over the world. Grandpa, I think you must have every stamp ever. Oh, I suppose I do have quite a few. So there's no need for you to buy any more stamps, is there, Grandpa? Hmm. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. <laughs> 
It's the post. Ah, it's a postcard from my friend. What does it say? It says, wish you were here. <laughs> I've never had a postcard. That's easy to fix. Let's write one to you and George now. Then we can post it to you. Oh, goody. <laughs> what shall we write on it? Uh, dear Pepper and George, wish you were here. Lots of love, Pepper and George. Very good. Let's post it. Not yet, Pepper. We need to write where you live. Do you know your address, Pepper? Uh, the little house on the hill. Very good. Now can we post it? There's still something missing. Do you know what it is? It needs a kiss. <laughs> That's lovely. And we need a stamp, too. Grandpa has stamps. Uh, my stamps are not for licking and sticking on postcards, Pepper. They are for collecting and looking at. Come on, Pepper and George. I think we'll find some normal stamps upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Who can that be? Special delivery. Ah, this could be... Yes, it's the rare stamp I sent off for. It's a big box for just a step. Did it cost a lot of money? Shh, Granny Pig doesn't need to know. Right you are. There should be a stamp in this drawer. No stamps, Granny. We'll just have to carry on looking downstairs. What a Beautiful stamp. And in perfect condition. Never been used. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh... What's all this mess? Oh, now I'll take it to the recycling. Look, Granny, a stamp for our postcard. Ah, good. I knew we'd find a stamp somewhere. George, would you like to lick it? <laughs> Stick it on the postcard. <laughs> now it's time to post your postcard. <laughs> Send it off, George. <laughs> Mr Zebra has come to collect the post. Um, did anyone see a stamp on the kitchen table? Yes, Grandpa. We stuck it on our postcard. Ah! My stamp! Stop! Stop! Come back, my stamp! <laughs> oh, my goodness! That stamp wasn't meant to be used. Why not, Grandpa? Well, it was a, a special stamp that I bought for my collection. Oh, so how much did it cost? Uh, not much. Ah, that's all right then. <laughs> and anyway, it's not lost. The postcard is going to Pepper and George's house. Oh, yes! I'll go straight there and wait for it to arrive. Uh, 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 my stamp! My stamp! <laughs> Grandpa Pig has arrived at Pepper and George's house. Oh, Grandpa Pig. I haven't missed the post, have I? <laughs> Special delivery. Oh, my lovely stamp. Actually, this is for Pepper and George. <laughs> A postcard! Yippee! <laughs> um, Grandpa, because our card has your lovely stamp on it, would you like to keep it? Oh, thank you, Pepper. This stamp was important before, but it's even more precious now that it's been posted to Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs>